We now need to write a task to increment the path patrol index. So in the C++ folder, I'm going to create a new class. It's going to be a BT task. That will base again. So I'm just going to call it increment path index. Now I'm going to create an enum to indicate what direction we're going in because I'm going to have a bidirectional variable. Now if that is true, then the NPC will first go in a forward direction, but when he reaches the end of the path, he will then reverse and go in the other direction and then reverse direction again when he reaches the beginning and so on. So I'm going to put this in the private section. I actually want to call it e direction type actually. Now I'm going to have a u property for this directional indicator, this Boolean. I need to implement these again. I think I should have an initializer on this constructor, like so. And I think I need to put that on all of them. It's the usual practice. Let's uh, open up Chase Plier. Find path point, find player location, find random location. I think that's it, isn't it? Anyway, back to this. So in the execute task now, I'm going to try and get the AI controller. Make sure you've got this AI controller header in here. Uh, doesn't know about this. So you've got to have the arbitrary blackboard component available in your includes. So we just get the min and max indices, a number of points in the patrol path, and we get from the blackboard the current index for the patrol path. Now what we're going to do is change direction if we're in bi-directional mode so that if we hit the end, the last point in the patrol points, then we reverse direction. We go backwards. And when we hit the first element in the patrol path, we then go forwards again and we keep doing that. It keeps oscillating between the two. Then we set the new value of the index to the blackboard. And I'm going to use a query statement to either increment or decrement the index. So if it's in the forward direction, then we increment the index. Otherwise we decrement and I'm going to do modular division. Oh, why is it complaining? Oh, yes, okay. Can't be const, can it? So if the direction is forward, then we increment the index. Now, the reason for the modular division is if we've gone off the end, the modular division will give you the remainder. So it will take you back to the beginning. And so it tends to limit the index to the relevant range of the path point index and similarly if you're decrementing it does the same and we just finish with success
otherwise we fail need to do a build so that succeeded now back in unreal i'm going to open the behavior tree because we now should have this increment path index task so if i open the tree i'm actually going to well delete this selector and i'm going to create a new tree so i want a selector then a sequence It was find path point, move to, and then this increment. I need to create the keys for these. I need an int, don't I? So that's the index. Then we want a vector. I'm going to call that point, patrol path point. And so this one, it's got two blackboard keys on it. We want uh, the vector, which is the path patrol path point, then the patrol path index. This one we want as the patrol path point. And this one has to be set to the patrol path index. I select the MPC. So in the details panel, we need to set this patrol path here now in the MPC, in this details panel. I think that might be it. Yes, so now you can see if I get somewhere high, we can watch him moving around the patrol path. Now this is unidirectional, it's not bi-directional, so you just keep going around and around in a sort of clockwise direction. I can change the tree so that um this one isn't it. I can set this to true and save and run. When he hits the last one, which was about here, he reverses. So it seems to be working actually. So I'm going to declare that working. In the next one, we're going to get this patrolling NPC to chase the player as before.